Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, source of the Nile River, through sugarcane fields as far as the eye can see. I'm Diane Tobin, director of Bahol Sham, and I traveled to this East African nation last month with members of my family and the Bahol Sham team for a very special occasion, the dedication of a new health center built by Uganda's Jews. We arrived at the infamous Antebi Airport before dawn and drove over five hours northeast to a town called Mbale. The Abu Daya Jews live just outside of town in scattered villages, including Nabagoya. Rabbi Gershom Sizomu is the leader of the Abu Yudaya, a community that began practicing Judaism almost a century ago. So in this compound right here, Judaism began in Uganda in 1919. The founder of this community, Semei Kapunguru, read the Bible, Christian Bible, and discovered Judaism. He circumcised himself here and his children and his servants, and began to observe the laws of Torah. Bahol Hashon works with the Abu Yudaya to promote health and community development. For example, he drilled wells and distributed thousands of mosquito nets, village by village, to help prevent malaria. These services benefit the Abu Yudaya, as well as their Christian and Muslim neighbors, fostering goodwill and keeping anti-Semitism in check. Mabali Hospital is overcrowded, so we decided the next phase of the project would be to build a health center. After much planning and fundraising, building began in July of 2009 and was completed in just under a year. When we arrived in Mabali for the dedication, we were overwhelmed by the beauty of the building, the size of the crowd, and the flurry of activity. A plaque on the front of the building honors my late husband, Gary Tobin, for whom the center is named. During the ceremony, students from the Semi Kulungulu High School enthusiastically greeted us, and dancers energized the crowd. In a show of unity, prayers were offered by a Christian minister, a Muslim leader, and by Rabbi Eli Spitz, who taught Rabbi Sizoma when he attended the Ziegler School of Rabbinic Studies at American Jewish University in Los Angeles. A representative from the office of Uganda's president congratulated the Abu Yudaya. I think this is a great achievement. And Rabbi Sizomo spoke about how the center will impact the community. In this facility, life is going to be given to those who yearn for it. In this facility, health education is going to be transmitted to those who yearn for it. In this facility, the people of Mbale district will have their life improved. I was honored to be there, along with Debs, Ben, and Joe Weinberg, and Steve and his son, Ben Edwards, funders of the project. It was such a meaningful tribute to Gary. I only wish he could have been there. Dr. is a great leader. We are honored to provide services for Muslims, Christians, and Jews living in peace. You are a great model for the whole world. Next day, we toured the facility. 
How are you? Stars of David have been incorporated into the ceilings and window grates, and mezuzot can be found on every door frame. The Abiyudaya are proud to express their Judaism and to be part of a global Jewish community. Dr. Benelud directs a small staff of medical professionals and volunteers. Under his capable leadership and in partnership with doctors around the world, including tropical disease specialist Dr. Alan Spira and Uganda's Assistant Minister of Health Dr. Dawson Mulemberry, we expect the center to provide excellent care for many years to come. Even though it has been busy since the day the doors opened, the Tobin Health Center is a work in progress. We will continue to raise funds for medical equipment and supplies. To learn more about Bahá'u'lláh Shon and our work with Abu Yudaya, and to make a donation to the Health Center, please visit www.globaljews.org. This is Diane Tobin. Join us next month for another podcast episode.